Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Fortified and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sue and today I'm taking you through my October empties. Now, these are videos where I just take an opportunity to do mini reviews on products that I've purchased and I let you know whether I enjoyed them and whether I will consider repurchasing. So just a little bit about my skin. I'm 51 years old. I do have enlarged pores, fine lines, wrinkles, quite a bit of texture on my skin. So that's just something to keep in mind as I go through the products. Now starting off, I'm going to be starting off with one of my favorites and that's the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Now I use this just to take off eye makeup and it works absolutely brilliantly. I have found it to be the most affordable method to take off my eye makeup and will repurchase, have been repurchasing this for the longest time. Then moving on to a sunscreen, I've got one from Aven and this is their Dry Touch SPF 50 Plus. Uh, this is specifically for the face, but I couldn't really use it on my face because I found that it did leave quite... Um, a white cast. So I ended up using this on my decollete and on my body. I wouldn't repurchase it because I did buy it specifically for the face and unfortunately just couldn't use it for that. So won't repurchase that one. And then a moisturizer that I have finished up is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion and this is the PM one so it doesn't have a sunscreen. I was using this in the mornings and I just found that it was lacking in a little bit of body. I just found it wasn't really rich enough for my skin. I had to use quite a few pumps of the product and so it just it really wasn't one of the best moisturizers that I've used so wouldn't repurchase that one. And then sticking with moisturizers, I have used up my Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. Now this is a gel, it's very reminiscent of the Neutrogena, uh, I think it's the Hydro Boost gel. And um, I bought this because it promised 100 hours of hydration. And um, while I did enjoy using it, it was suitable for my skin during the day because um, I do have oily skin so it was quite nice to use a gel but it was really again just not kind of rich enough and not really ticking all the boxes so I wouldn't repurchase this um, I think I would go for the moisture intense which is in the range uh, next time but um, enjoyed using it as I say just not rich enough for my skin and then I have a cleansing balm also from Clinique. This is the Take the Day Off. I really love this. It really does do the trick. It is very pricey though, so I am looking for a more affordable alternative. But I do love this and if price were no object, then I would continue to repurchase. I do repurchase when Clinique has a special, a 25% off or something like that. But very reluctant to purchase it at the full price. And then another cleanser that I've used up is one by Huxley. Now Huxley is a Korean brand and this is their Secrets of Sahara and this is their gel cleanser. This does contain prickly pear extract and that's known to be a great antioxidant for the skin. I really love their cleansers. I'm currently using a cream cleanser which is a little bit richer than this one but I love this one as well. It really does take off excess makeup and it doesn't leave your skin feeling tight. It leaves your skin feeling moisturized and soft and just ready for whatever you're going to put on afterwards. So really have enjoyed using that one and would highly recommend it. Then I have used up a Silver Genesis Super Hydro Gel. This is a gel that I use when I use my new face. It's really affordable. It does last quite a long time. You can use it quite generously and would highly recommend it. Would repurchase. I haven't been able to repurchase. It seems to be out of stock or not sure if it's been taken off the market, but really would recommend that if you can find it. Then some glycolic peel pads that I've used up are ones from Pixie and these are the glow peel pads and I really enjoyed using these ones but <laughs> they are 20% glycolic acid or that is the, the contents of the pad and I did find them really quite harsh so I was only using them probably once twice a week maximum and for that reason I probably wouldn't repurchase. I do love glycolic acid. I love it in a slightly uh, lesser concentration so that I can use it more frequently. So I did find these a little bit ouchy, a little bit harsh for my skin so 
wouldn't repurchase those. And then a couple of vitamin C serums that I've used up. The first one is from Timeless, and this is their 20% vitamin C ferulic acid with vitamin E. Really love this one. I really do rate it quite highly, and it is a little bit on the pricey side, but I would highly recommend it if you are looking for a vitamin C. They also make, I think it's a 10% version, and um, really did enjoy this one, would highly recommend it. Another one which I've used up is the one from Re Revolution. This is the 12% vitamin C. Absolutely love this. It really is affordable. I will repurchase. I haven't managed to get it in store yet, but highly recommend this one. And I just find that it absorbs really easily. It's just a beautiful product to wear, to put on under whatever you're going to put on top of it. It doesn't pull or anything like that. And the fact that it is affordable, it goes up in my estimation. So I'd highly recommend that. And then one from Clarins. This is from the Bright Plus range. This contains a scorbyl glucoside, which is a very stable form of vitamin C and which I have seen good results with in other products. This one, I'm not sure if I saw any kind of change to my skin. I really did enjoy using this. It is a luxury product. I love the packaging, but again, not sure if I really saw results which would um, make them enough for me to repurchase this. So probably will give this a miss. Another Clarence product, which I really loved, also from the Bright Plus range, this is the Day Lotion, the Brightening Day Lotion, and it has an SPF of 20. Now, I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed the smell. Mm. It's just got a gorgeous fragrance. And the fact that it had an SPF in it um, doesn't hurt either, even though I do use an SPF over all my moisturizers. So I would recommend this, and I would probably repurchase if it were on special or there was some kind of discount, but I did enjoy that. Then I've used up one of my Aven Othomal sprays. This is the little handbag version. Would highly recommend this. It's a very versatile product. There's so many things that you can use it for. And so really enjoy that. I do have a full size of that as well. And then a Clarins Bath and Body product that I've used up. This is the Tonic Bath and Shower Concentrate. I love this. It's got such a beautiful fragrance. It smells of a whole lot of essential oils. It really is just a splurge and a treat. Mm, and I can still smell the residual fragrance. So would highly recommend. I wouldn't repurchase because of the price. I think for a body wash, it really is <laughs> a little bit out of my budget, put it that way. So if it were a gift, I wouldn't say no. Um, and perhaps if it was on special, I would repurchase. But it really is a lovely luxury product. And I can recommend that one. And then on to a couple of hair products. I have used up one of my Purology Hydrate Shampoos. This is sulfate free. I love this range and I have repurchased. I just find that this is really gentle on my scalp and on my hair. So would highly recommend that. I've also used up one of my Holy Grails. This is the Kerastars Elixir Ultime Conditioner Mask. I used to use this as a daily, con well, not a daily conditioner, but every time I washed my hair, I would use this as a conditioner just to rinse out. So not necessarily using it as a mask, but it really is a beautiful product. I do have quite thick, um, wavy hair, which is does become quite unmanageable and does become quite dry. It is color treated. And I find that this is just the greatest thing mm, to tame those frizzies and just to leave my hair beautifully manageable and soft. So I would highly recommend this. I am going to repurchase. That is the Kerastars. And then, oh, here we have our Kerastars Nutritive. This is the Thermique Leave-In Treatment. And I really enjoyed using this until I found the Palmer's Leave-In Hair Conditioner, which I found was actually better than this. So I'm not going to be repurchasing this, but I did enjoy it while it lasted. And now onto a little bit of makeup that I've used up. So the first one is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder for normal to oily skin. I really love this. I have bought, I have got a backup of this. I have hit pan on this and just cannot really get out the remnants. <laughs> so this is going in the bin. But I really love this one. Uh, I swear by it. It's affordable and it really goes a long way in terms of blotting up my excess oils 
when they start peeking through throughout the day. So really love that. Then a little mascara mini I've used up is the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. Now this came out um, to quite a lot of hoo-ha. They said that there was something in here about a magnetic core which pushes your lashes up and it was just a whole lot of marketing gone wrong. And um, I wouldn't recommend this mascara. I find it does smudge on me. It doesn't do anything particularly fantastic to my lashes so would definitely not repurchase that and then I have got a MAC mini MAC stack mascara this is the one with the bigger mascara wand I did enjoy this I must say I do enjoy using mini mascaras because you can just um, get rid of them you know after you've had them for a certain amount of time because I do believe that mascara is one area where you need to be quite vigilant about um, you know the uh, shelf life should I say and so I do enjoy minis for that reason I quite like this I do I did find that it gave me quite um, it could become quite cakey on application it definitely gives you vava vum lashes I do tend to go for kind of um, a more pared down lash during the day so I'm not sure if I would repurchase but it is a good mascara all the same and then another little mini I've used up is from Clarins and this is just their normal, it's their Mascara 4D, Wonder Perfect Mascara 4D actually. So it's, there's nothing normal about it. And um, based on this sample, I actually purchased the full size, which I am just having a look to see if I can find for you. I don't have it here. But yeah, this was actually a fantastic mascara. So based on the mini, I bought the full size. It really gives you beautiful natural lashes it lengthens it defines it doesn't smudge on me it doesn't flake so would highly recommend it so that was from Clarins and then I have used up one of my benefit gimme brows this is the gel that you put over your brows it's just like a little fiber gel and I really like this I really enjoyed using it I would repurchase so really enjoyed that then I have a little lip gloss sample from Clinique. I really enjoyed this. Can't remember what color it was in but these are part of their current range and really enjoyed this. It wasn't goopy and just gave a beautiful slick of color so would recommend those. And then I'm saying goodbye to an Elizabeth Arden lipstick. Now I'm not sure what this range is called. Um, it is still part of the Elizabeth Arden range. And it does have quite a funky mechanism. So you just push that up, you open it, and it really is a lovely color. It's quite reminiscent of Black Honey by Clinique. But this one has been around. I've had it for a long time. So I've decided to say goodbye to it. And I don't think I would repurchase. So guys, those are my empties for the month of October. Let me know if any of these things resonate with you. Let me know if you loved any of these. Let me know what your favorites are for the month of October. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am going to leave you with a link to my video on the new Clinique Black Honey Lip Gloss. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.